I want to pursue a case against my rapist, but I do not believe in prisons. I do not think I will get justice from a courtroom when the only other brown things in the room are the things these white bodies place beneath them. The floor, the furniture, the victims. When I say I want justice for my assault, I mean I do not want him to go to prison, but I do want him to pay. Make him pay me for the nights I did not sleep, the days my body was nothing but a vessel for trauma to store its memory inside of. Let me invoice him for every minute I spent numb and staring at the wall in disbelief. Every depressive spell where I did not leave my bed because I did not understand why my body was something he chose as another thing for him to own. When I say I want justice for my assault, I mean I do not want my rapist in a cell for another person need not have their autonomy taken away from them for another to learn consent. Instead, I learned omnicellula e cellula. All cells come from cells. Every cell is born of a pre-existing cell is born of a pre-existing cell. If you put my rapist in a cell, what will his cell produce? Another rapist, a lineage of generational trauma, life sentence begets life sentence begets life sentence instead. To know that we will never taste freedom sounds like something his descendants and I will have in common. When I believe I have healed from my assault, I am told that my rapist is going to law school. What I hear is that he will excuse men like himself. He will pay back the system that allowed him agency despite taking it away from me. This is the way he gives back to his community, grows flowers in the dirt of the assaults he has committed, flowers that are watered and fertilized by his friends and mine who did not say anything to keep the peace, flowers that he will behead to make himself a bouquet to place at his own feet. What is an altar to a man who believes himself God, a false idol? He makes, unhallowed, he makes unhallowed church of courtroom, knows the judges make all rise, but he makes those sitting in the benches kneel for him. And I imagine myself sitting in on his every case, memorizing the docket like prayer. But now I am the only brown thing in the room and I will not be used. I dream I make something beautiful of my assault case. As my rapist takes the stand, I imagine flowers growing out of his eye sockets as he speaks, thorns ripping through his eyelids. I imagine his lungs filled with caterpillars that climb their way up through his throat. He gags as they leave his mouth. I dream he does not say a single word that defends his actions, and all I hear is a tiny violin playing music that makes the room swell with its sound. I bill him for my coping mechanisms, my addictions, my insomnia and nightmares for when I do sleep. When I say I want justice for my assault, I mean I imagine ripping up the bill and choosing to never set foot in a courtroom again. I will never see myself at the witness stand. I will never see myself recount my assault to an audience. There is a reason it is called the gallery. I will relieve my pain, not relive it. This is justice I give myself, that he may never heal, but I will.